Morning, everybody. The news is breaking now in outer space. There's drama unfolding hundreds of miles overhead. We're now waiting on word from NASA about how badly damaged Atlantis was during Monday's liftoff. That's when debris hit the shuttle, causing nicks in the thermal shield. It's a big deal now. It may become a much bigger deal upon reentry. Good morning. That's where we start. I'm Bill Hemmer, live here in America's newsroom. Hi, everybody, and I'm Megan Kelly. Right now, NASA does not think the damage poses any danger to the crew. But as we speak, they are looking at a series of nicks and one big dent near the leading edge of the shuttle wing. NASA is extremely sensitive to this kind of damage after Columbia's doomed mission more than six years ago. All right, Chris Gutierrez leads our coverage. He's live at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas, with worries about the first story that we just mentioned and the next story, too, drifting space junk posing a risk to astronauts. Uh, take the first one first, Chris. What is NASA saying? You bet. Well, I want to put it in perspective for the folks at home, Bill, because you guys mentioned the uh, shuttle Columbia disaster. And the big difference is the area that we're talking about that uh, astronauts are looking at right now is called the Chine. And it's an area where the wing literally meets the fuselage. And it's right here in this transition area as it kind of rolls up in this direction here. You notice the difference between the black right here and the gray reinforced carbon carbon right here. What happened to Columbia nearly six years ago, something the size of about a suitcase nailed the wing's leading edge. Again, the gray part. The area that they're concerned about right now is this black part. This is gray because it, has, uh, it, it comes in contact with uh, warmer, warmer, hot, hot temperatures when it re-enters the Earth's atmosphere. This is black because it doesn't get as hot. So we, what we have over here, Bill, is a, a graphic that NASA gave us. You can see it says starboard chine. So starboard means it's on the right side of the space shuttle. And again, it's a series of nicks, and you see them here. It stretches across about one, two, three, four of those uh, black heat tiles, and it's approximately 21 inches in, in length. So, again, the black heat tiles line the belly of the orbiter. They uh, are on part of that chine as it rolls up into the uh, top of the orbiter. So that's where NASA is focusing right now. Again, they're not concerned too much right now about the depth. They think that because they're little white nicks that it's fairly shallow. But, again, it's something that they're paying close attention to, Bill. All right. That, that is the one thing we're concerned with this morning. The other is space junk. What is it about the current orbit that makes them possible to come into this giant field of junk? Well, today they'll be reaching a, a, an altitude that's 350 miles above the Earth. So what we'll do is we'll show you what happened back in 1983. This is a still store picture that NASA gave us of STS-7. And what happened back in 1983 is something the size of uh, a grain of sand hit one of the windshields of the shuttle, and it left this. It's almost like a pebble hitting uh, your windshield as you're driving down the freeway in your automobile. NASA later determined that it was a speck of white paint, two tenths of a millimeter in diameter, again the size of a grain of sand that hit the windshield and caused that type of damage. So they are concerned about space debris, any junk that's floating around oh, that up is, that high. That is remarkable. Chris Gutierrez, thank you for that and stay on it for us out of Houston. We'll be in touch as soon as we get updates here on both of those issues. Thank